So strawberries. Strawberries are red, juicy fruits. Sweet, among the first fruits to ripen um, during the springtime. One cup of sliced strawberries equal 149% of our daily vitamin C needs. So, I mean, where can you go wrong? Some strawberries in the morning on top of your oatmeal or in a smoothie on a salad helps to regulate blood sugar. So contrary to popular belief, strawberries are great for diabetics, help you regulate your uh, blood sugar full of fiber as well. They can be eaten raw in desserts and cereals and smoothies. And today we're gonna top a salad with some fresh sliced strawberries. Swiss chard. Swiss chard is a colorful and quick cooking green. One cup provides three times the minimum daily amount of vitamin K. It's naturally high in nitrates, which have heart benefits such as lowering your blood pressure and improving circulation. And it's delicious sauteed and added to hot pasta and in soups. And another one that I will share the recipe with, we're not gonna make it, but you make, can make a vegetable spring roll and actually wrap it in a Swiss chard leaf. So it's like a vegetarian version of like a healthy spring roll. And you can also put, um, take a, a leaf of Swiss chard, layer a, a hummus of your liking, whether it be plain or flavored, and then put some fresh veggies, roll it up and have it like a wrap for lunch. Great, crunchy, uh, you know, just bright and just a nice texture and taste to that. So what are we planning to do for today and what's on the menu? So what's on the menu today? We're gonna make together a few simple things. We're gonna make an easy roasted asparagus. We're gonna do some rosemary garlic uh, roasted radishes as a so both kind of side dish type things. And then we're gonna make a fresh spinach and strawberry salad that's great for springtime. You can serve easily as just a salad before your main course. You could have it for lunch or dinner with top it with some fresh chicken or some, some steak or you know any protein of your choice or just eat it as is. So we're gonna whip that up and these recipes will be shared with you as well. So we're gonna go through them and see what they look like and have a little fun cooking. So stay tuned. So for our first recipe, we're going to do some easy roasted asparagus. Um, cooking asparagus in the oven is easy and flavorful. Roasted asparagus is incredibly quick and easy to make and is much more flavorful than the just traditional boiling method or steaming even. You could switch it up on seasonings so you'll be able to make this no matter what's in your pantry or what's to your liking. So simple enough, you're gonna need just the basics, a baking sheet or a cookie sheet or, a, or some kind of metal, preferably um, baking dish, uh, some fresh asparagus. You're gonna need for this recipe about a pound. You're gonna need olive oil, uh, salt, pepper, and then um, I'll show you some varieties in a second. So set that aside. This is the, I'm using this, basically a half size, half sheet pan. This is like a commercial size, but you could use, it's basically a cookie sheet. I like when they have the little lip because you are gonna put some liquids on there, some olive oil so it doesn't run and make your oven messy. You, I've got a pound of fresh asparagus. I have a, not too thick, not too thin. It's actually perfect, it's kind of the way I like it. And I literally just went and picked this up this morning at the grocery store. Um, you're gonna wash it, it you know, I. No matter what produce I'm bringing home, I'm gonna wash it. Uh, dry it on some paper towels. Um, one thing to note with, with this, I wanna make sure I have a hot oven, so I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Um, get everything ready. So the first thing I like to do is trim my asparagus. And as you know, on a stalk, you could do this by just literally, don't even need a knife to snap it. And it literally takes the bottom of the stalk off where you need it. So, just grab your spears and just snap it and it comes off at the right place. If you're not that patient, don't wanna get your hands dirty, just chop it off with a chef's knife. So I'm gonna finish snapping that off. And you can see, it doesn't take much effort, time, get my asparagus ready and be right back. 